Michael Sean Comerford. I'm on the Story Cycle, Americans in a Pandemic, from Chicago to LA. And I'm here in the Ozarks Mountains. I am in Rolla. I just was going down Route 66, historic Route 66, when I found out that the bridge was washed out and I'm bicycling back to Rolla and then going to have to go around uh, where Route 66 was and I don't know where all these little towns are but they're going to be very small towns it's very exciting the Ozarks are so culturally distinct from a lot of other places in the United States from almost any other place in the United States and uh, so I'm really loving this place the weather is tough the mountains are tough um, I got a great interview today at outside the Walmart with a young woman who said she doesn't have COVID, she, none of her kids had it, her husband didn't have it, none of her family has it, she's not afraid of it, she doesn't wear masks. I am now filming because we have just passed another milestone in the COVID uh, crisis. Uh, last night, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, President Biden said that uh, we have passed another horrible milestone, which is one year that we've had this COVID uh, pandemic declared. The WHO declared it a year ago. So I just wanted to go over a little bit of what I've gone through th for the last couple weeks for, from Chicago to the Ozark Mountains. And uh, I started off in a, uh, right after a, a polar vortex. And it was freezing from the Midwest down to the South. Uh, I got ready. I got right on the bike almost exactly after it happened. So I ducked it. Uh, then uh, we passed a milestone of 500,000 deaths. And, um, and so we're still in it. But right now, the vaccines are ramping up. 29 million people have gotten the virus, but 29 million people have gotten a vaccination. So we're hoping for better times ahead. Uh, although April and March, are, March and April are going to be uh, travel months because of spring break. And uh, the UK virus is very concerning. So that's where we're at. But I also wanted to mention, I want to get beyond the numbers. And the numbers are getting better, but they're still very worrisome. When you get down to the people and on the ground, you're gonna talk about people I met and people who I've videotaped, and some of them are. Um, a man outside of Chicago named Craig Thompson, who hadn't had a job for a year. And Zach Cotton, the policeman from Glenwood, who said he bought a new house so he could entertain more. And, uh, but he feels the stresses because he, ha he doesn't, he's not able to uh, see his friends. Michael Sorensen, who's a student at SIU, who's a great hockey player. Well, he says he's not the best hockey player, but he's a devoted one. And he says there are still parties, but he's been quarantining and finding out new things about himself. Turning inward. I met kids in Atlanta, a real small town in southern Illinois, where the kids said, we're not afraid of it. It's life. There's life and there's death. There's a restaurant owner in Farmersville who, uh, who said that people, off camera, he said, well, people are supporting us. There's only, um, there's only 800 people in Farmersville, and yet they've supported us. We almost went under. And then that he said on camera, but when the camera went off, he said, you know how they supported us? They not only paid their bill and tipped their waitress, but they came up to the front bar and laid more money on the bar. In St. Louis, I was riding my bicycle out of town when riding in that town was a, a guy named Bill Carabella, a history teacher uh, from Indiana, but now is living in St. Louis with his beautiful wife, Karen. And she's a bicycle enthusiast, and so, so is he. But uh, they offered me their guest house, and I lived in the lap of luxury for an evening. That's another story. I've been roughing it. I've been sleeping in cemeteries and, and uh, in, in uh, forest preserves. 
There was Sarah Ray in an, another town just down the line in St. James. She was a librarian. She said she hasn't been able to hug her grandkids. In St. Louis, there was a black couple who said that they don't trust the shots. I interviewed a, a, uh, an African-American uh, homeless man who said, are you kidding me? I, I trust the shots and I want one as fast as I can. He was homeless. There was, uh, there was this, um, there was a guy on the street outside of Evansville who said, I want to pray with you. I'm going to pray on you to, for God to protect you, uh, God to protect your bicycle. And I'm going to, and when he did his prayer, he thank God for all his bounty and told him, don't worry, I know you didn't send this scourge. Uh, when I was at uh, in Springfield, Missouri, off camera again, I interviewed uh, some people uh, taking a smoke break outside their restaurant anchors away and they looked at me and they said, African Americans, they said, I hope you're getting paid for this because this looks hard. And I hope you're getting paid a lot. I said, don't worry. Yikes. Um, and in, uh, here in the, uh, so from now on, I have three days of rain ahead of me. Uh, it looks pretty rough. Uh, the mountains are uh, high and beautiful. The culture is very distinct. I'm very excited about this whole project. It's coming together. Thank you to the University of Florida's uh, oral history program and uh, Deborah Hendricks. And uh, we are going forward.